Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Fizal Imam Bin Ramli My name metric number B0918103311 I'm from 3BMMM, section 12 Hi, Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Ashraf Bin Zahbashan My number metric is B0918103352 I'm from 3BMMM, section 1, stop 2 Hello, Assalamualaikum uh, My name is Muhammad Faiz Bin Khalid My metric number B09 1810543 and I'm from class BMMM section 2. So, we go to the introduction for condition monitoring and fault. The Japanese approach have been developed to increase the reliability of rolling element in bearing. When a bearing to operate of a given machine is a for rotation speed under the given bearing condition and defect present for the bearing to in generate in destructive defect frequency component in a signal and then definition definition for CM is about a required to equal the operation condition data of the rotating machine after that, same also data can be processed and analyzed using by the proper signal analysis technique to extract the most analysis using proper that the relevant characteristic parameter. It will to to evaluate the machine healthy state. The bearing is the has developed in the current on the machine in the 19th century and it was a uh, with it was atalized machine but since they are rolling motion simplify uh, particularly in action and reduce friction okay today i will present about why machine condition monitoring and fault diagnosis bearing is important and the import uh, and how to measure uh, machine condition monitoring and fault diagnosis on bearing so first we go to why machine condition monitoring and fault diagnosis on bearing is important okay it is defined as a technique that tracking machines help and performance over time next the, it is also detecting faults to minimize production cost and optimize predictive maintenance and uh, bearing uh, has been chosen for this assignment so rolling elements bearing play crucial role in determining in determining overall health condition of a rotating machine okay other than that we can see uh, the importance of condition monitoring on bearing first it can increase machine availability and reliability second to improve operating efficiency third it can improve risk management less downtime next reduce maintenance cost uh, better planning okay and then reduce spare parts inventories especially in uh, rolling uh, element bearing uh, next improve safety next uh, extended operational life of the machine and last reduction of post overhaul failures due to improperly performed maintenance or reassembly okay next we go to how to measure machine condition monitoring and fault diagnosis on bearing so uh, vibration uh, found almost everywhere in roller bearing either in outer diameter inner diameter or everywhere in the part of bearing so first bearing vibrates due to default in bearing itself the data condition monitoring data can be analyzed using other time domain techniques frequency domain techniques or time frequency techniques so we have uh, three 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 techniques that we can use to measure condition monitoring on bearing so bearing fault that commonly occur such as in the ring diameter outer ring diameter rolling, rolling element damage and server damage okay next the disturbance in bearing is sensed by using accelerometer. So, accelerometer is the one of uh, one of equipment that that has been used to 
detect to measure the fault vertices in marine. So it will send the sand vibration data to FFT analyzer which can change the sense data by accelerometer to meaningful data shown in the PC such as frequency, amplitude, displacement due to various fault defects are compared so that pre-maintenance can be done. So next, bearing also can be measured with other several condition monitoring techniques which is vibration technique, acoustic emission technique, current signal technique, oil and debris monitoring technique and thermography technique. So as we can see on the figure, uh, this is the equipment which is accelerometer that used to detect uh, fault analysis on bearing. Okay, next. Okay, as we can see, uh, we have two figure which is uh, A is the graphic illustration of bearing, the real picture of bearing, and second is cross sectional view of the bearing, which is we can see uh, the fault. Uh, that occur on the bearing. So, bearing of our fault can be simulated by using the following equation. As we can see uh, below, uh, the beside beside all the figure, we can see the equation. We can use simulate by using this equation. So that is for me. Thank you. Hi, assalamualaikum and good afternoon. So for the last part in this video, I will present to you guys about the conclusion for overall uh, in this assignment that have been given to us. It is critical to have a good bearing condition monitoring and fault diagnostic system in place so that incipient issues uh, like bearing can be spotted and fault diagnostic system in place. Other than that, incipient in bearing issue also can be spotted and diagnosed early so that problem like machine damage or can turn into worse can be solved. When a bearing is operated at a given machine rotation speed and under given loading condition, defect or fault present in the bearing generate the distinctive defect frequency components in a signal. After that, the condition, condition monitoring also can be processed and analyzed using proper signal analysis technique to extract the most relevant characteristic parameters which can be used in a diagnosis or prognosis algorithm to evaluate and predict the machine health state bearing out one of the most extensive are the most utilized machine part nowadays since their rolling motion uh, simplifies practically all actions and reduce friction not at all bearing also can be measured with other several condition monitoring technique like vibration technique acoustic emotion technique current signal technique oil and diorist monitoring thermography technique for as you can see from the previous part, uh, there also has been present about some important of using conditioning monitoring. So I will uh, I will point out the four most important uh, using conditioning monitoring. The first point is it can increase the machine uh, it can increase the machine avail uh, availability and reliability. Second point is to improve the operation efficiency. The third point is it can improve risk management in a bracket or less downtime. And for the last point is it can reduce the maintenance cost. So that's all for me. Thank you for watching.